So this code here is set up to send an email, to send us an email, uh, we the developer. We can use the same idea of um, that JavaScript to create a more uh, generic share to, so that the person themselves can select where they're sending to, specifically like a social network. So we've already got the button in the HTML file, and in the uh, JavaScript file, we already, created, we already created the variable up at the top. And at the very bottom, we have commented out the uh, share, the generic share button. So let's uncomment that, uh, turn off comments. Now we need the L button share to have the on click uh, event listener. And then we'll create a function uh, that uh, lets us do, this sh do that share. So I'm going to back up after our end of the function email. Function, function share. And the usual, we'll do the console log to show in our output that function share is running. All right, so we've got the button in the HTML, we've got the object, we've got the event listener, we click, we run the function. This is going to be very similar to the one above, but with a few different parameters. Above we had share via email. Then we had, you know, the subject, comma, the body, comma, the to address, comma, etc. Well, here we're going to set it up so that the person can choose where they're going to send to. And, and my idea here is I, I want the free promotion of people saying, I love this app, let me tell my friends about it on Instagram, or Twitter, or Facebook and such, or via email, or WhatsApp, or whatever's installed on the person's device. So here's another example where to fully get this to work, uh, you need to try it on a device. If you don't have the Instagram app on the device, it won't show up on the list, but if you have you know, these different apps, they'll show up on, on the device's list. So this is going to be the same sort of thing in that it starts off as window, singular, plugins, plural, dot social sharing, lowercase, and this time simply share. We're not saying share via email. We guided people, when you click this button, you're going to share via an email. This time it's generically share. You choose the app you want to share to. And I believe there is a share via Twitter, share via Facebook, so that you can specifically have the person click a button and it goes directly to Facebook. Now they need to have the Facebook app on their device, they need to be logged in and all of that. Usually that's already set up. So I'm going to break that into multiple lines again and we'll say and.share. That's our share end there. So in this case, we have message, subject, attachments, and such. So the first parameter, just for our notes, this is our message, comma, subject optional based on network. Oh, and uh, this is also a string, subject string. So that means it's in quotes. There's a comma at the end of the line. Remember, if you want to omit any of these um, parameters, you can just put null. Uh, next, what it wants is a um, an attachment, and it's going to be different here in an array as an array of strings based on www folder. So similar to before, except that one over there is one attachment in quotes. This one is going to be in brackets, and uh, you can have multiple attachments in quotes based on the WW folder. And there's something different URL. 
string. So you can add a web address. Ideally, this is going to be the link to your app on the App Store. I'll show you how to find that in a moment. Um, but this is this is any valid web address. So imagine we're we're tweeting this. The tweet will have that um, uh, web address attached to the tweet. Uh, both of these uh, commas, and then after that, it's the um, success and failure callbacks. Success callback comma and then failure callback no comma. All right, so filling it in, uh, this is where you can be creative if you'd like. The idea is, I'm going to say, uh, check out the CBDB app. So imagine the person is going to share this on their Twitter, on their Facebook, etc. This is the message that will get auto-populated, which they can change if they want, of course. That's got a comma, because then we've got the subject, and that's going to depend on the social network. Some networks will read what is here and use it, and others won't even see it. They will ignore it. So this one is one of the ones that you can sort of do optional. You can just put null. Or you can put something in there that is OK if most networks will ignore. So um, you know, something like download cbdb today. It's a bit redundant to the message. Don't rely that all networks will see it. But if you have it and the network uses it, that's a little bit extra that you, that you can have. Attachments in an array, so square brackets. And again, based on the path of www, what particular image you want to attach. This one makes a little more sense than the email because I want to the person to they like my app, they want to share it to their Twitter. I want to attach to their tweet the um, the app's icon. Well, again, I already copied the the icon into my images folder. So this will work for me. If you have a different graphic, ping, JPEG, GIF, um, you can use your own. Because it's an array, you could put more than one. Square brackets, the first image, comma, the second image in quotes. I don't have that particular image, so I won't actually include it. Well, actually, I have the Cordova. In my case, Cordova ping. OK, the URL, that one's pretty straightforward in quotes. Now for the moment, uh, I'm going to put here just a placeholder email. Uh, we'll come back to fill this one in more completely. Um, your app on Google uh, App Store or Android or Amazon App Store has a web address. Uh, I'll show you where to get that web address on Amazon in a moment. We can include the link to our app. So we're getting this publicity, free publicity from the user, sharing it to their Facebook and uh, it'll have a link back to the app, and then the person can follow it and get our app. Uh, 
comma there, and then the function, the two functions, the two anonymous functions for success and failure. you can just copy completely from the top up there. the note up here a function to um, have the user share our app to any social network they have on device that's what this function is about they will choose we didn't say share via whatever we just said share so depending on what apps are on their device they have the option and on some of these I'm, I'm surprised uh, depending on the device I think I've seen it like share this to a map. So it'll open up Google Maps and then put a pin where you're at and this information, I guess. Usually you'll you'll have people using this to share to their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Let me mention a couple of things then um, before we test this. I've seen with a couple of people some bug where you're working in our computer, you transfer it to another computer, and then come back here and some of the paths perhaps get confused in the solution, or vice versa. You're working on another computer, you come here and then the path is confused. Remember when I said you can change your drive letter uh, where you plug in your USB, but if that doesn't work, there might be another solution here. With a couple of people I've tested this today, and, and here's the issue. If you take a quick look here, just so that you have this in your notes, um, actually you'll have to see it outside of Visual Studio. Uh, so you can just look here for a moment. My project on my flash drive, 503, oh in my CBDB project, in my platform folder. There's a, there's a couple of folders of the project that don't show up in Visual Studio. One of them is platforms, or it's not there, right? Yeah. So platforms, if I look in there, I'm currently working with Android. If I open that, there is an item there that doesn't appear until the first time that you use your key store file, release signing properties. If you're trying to build your project, even when you're in debug mode, sometimes there's some bug that still wants to use your key store for you to put your password and all of that, even though I don't need it right now. I only need to put in my password for the key store when I'm in release mode. For a few people I saw that it's asking you for that and it's getting confused by drive letters. So uh, one way is if you uh, delete or move that release signing properties file out of your project, it'll recreate it when necessary. But at the moment it may be pointing to drive J, but I'm plugged in on drive F. And this file, if you were curious, you can look inside of it. And this says right there that I had my key store last time on drive F. There's my file.keystore. You, I guess you can change it, even though this says do not modify this file, your changes will be erased. You could try changing it, or I've found that if you simply move it out of your project, uh, it'll recreate it when necessary, and that seems to have solved a few people's issues. 
So again, to get into that is you know, in your project folder, in the platforms folder, in your Android folder, you've got a file called release signing dot properties. There's project dot properties, ant dot properties. But this one makes sense. Release signing properties. When we change to release mode, it looks at that to see where your key store is to confirm it, I guess, and then it builds. If you're having trouble building, you might uh, move that out of your project and then it usually then behaves. The other thing, um, regarding this address, After your app is um, published at the App Store, you, you will be able to search for it. Amazon.com, searching in apps. If your app's not published yet, you can still do this. For example, you can go search for uh, CBDB in apps, and you'll find uh, the apps from previous, previous semesters. Now, does this sort by, it doesn't sort by date, it used to sort by date. Um, anyway, here's some one, uh, here's from the last semester, December. So let's say one of these is yours, let's say one of yours is live over here. Uh, if you see yours, that'd be fun, but I think these are not the latest. Yeah, so um, let's say one of these was yours, if you click on your app. You have uh, you have an address up at the top, but it's very uh, it's very cumbersome. There's actually a short address that you can use. Uh, every link in Amazon actually has a short address. It's hidden inside of the share inside of that share link. So let's say after your app is published. Now this is this is a chicken or the egg thing, isn't it? I can't exactly add that URL until my app is published. But I'm still working on my app before I publish it. So in the meantime, uh, you could have it as null because you don't you don't have an address yet for your app. After your app is fully published, uh, you can come back in, make a change here, then I'll show you how to update it, and then fill it in because then you'll have an address. But once your app is available under share, that pops up and you've got a nice short link here. Capitalization and all of that does matter. Some of them look like numbers and some of them look like letters. But if, just for the testing purposes, I found someone's app in the App Store, it's that. So you can put this legitimately or not. You can put in you know, Facebook.com if you want. You can put in anything you want or not. Like A.co slash lowercase f68 uppercase iq uppercase p3 if you want to use that give for give free publicity to a former student that's fine but i'm just showing you there that any uh, any anything on amazon you know we care right now about our, about these apps but any anything on amazon has that share and that's got a short address that you can use the reason I might not want to use the long address up on top, it's, not, it's also got special characters, perhaps, question marks, and quotes, and ampersands that might screw up inside of our JavaScript code. This one is just plain alphanumeric, which should be a safer link to use. Um, you might have to you know, do a s character escapes if some of these um, special characters are causing problems. You can save your work. You can uh, you can test it. We can pause here for to see if people's code works. Uh, then we'll look at uh, doing an update version two into our Amazon app.